Hi guys, my name is Lily and today I'm out here in the beautiful forest and today's mission is to make a boat drill fire because last time I have failed miserably and today I want to see if I can still do it, you know. This is a very important survival skill so you really have to practice regularly. Okay guys, so now I'm searching for soft dry wood and I've just found this dead tree here which is standing so there shouldn't be too much moisture in it but this wood here is actually beech wood and beech wood is one of the hardest woods that we have here so it's no good for the bow drill, don't take it, it makes no sense. Okay, I've seen something over there, a dead cedar tree. Now I'm going to fetch it and actually I don't want to take the camera with me because it's so steep here and I don't want to knock it over. So I'm just gonna fetch the tree and leave you behind. Okay guys, I made it. I have my two pieces of cedar. This is how the leaves look like. And yeah, this wood is bone dry and it's quite soft. We're back at the camp and now I want to carve the bow drill set. So first of all, I'm going to take the spindle and I want to carve it quite a little bit thinner because the outer layers of the wood are often moist but the inner layers are usually very very dry. Okay, the spindle is done. Now comes the fireboard. So as you can see, I try to put on out the middle of the wood. I don't want to use the outer layers because as I said before, they can be moist and yeah, just try to get down to the middle part here. Okay, that's it. That's the fireboard. It's about one centimeters of height. And the spindle should go right here. So we're just gonna make this hole here, a divot, where the spindle can sit in it easier. That's it. And I'm going to take the lanyard hole as my bow drill socket. Okay, this is looking very good now. The smoke is red and the sawdust is great as well. 
So next I'm going to carve the notch. So one sign that this is going to work is basically that you can see this very black hole here, which means that it has burned. If you don't see that after 30 seconds of drilling, then you need to change your bow drill set. Okay guys, so this is my notch. I tried to keep it close at the top because otherwise the spindle is going to fall out too easily. And then you can see that the notch is conical, so it gets wider at the bottom so that the sawdust has a place to accumulate. Okay, this is looking great. I got an amber. Nope, I haven't. Damn it. Okay guys, so I was very close to having an amber, but I stopped too early. And yeah, don't stop too early. <laughs> now I have to go and fetch my tinder. Okay guys, so another common mistake that I made in the past was that I was rushing myself and I was trying another time too quickly. So now I almost had an amber and then you think, yeah, I can do it. And then you try it again, 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 pretty fast after each other. But that's not good because I'm exhausted now. Even though I don't feel it, I'm exhausted and I want to give myself 10 more minutes until I continue. So what should you do in 10 minutes time? There's a lot of other tasks that you can do. For example, building up your shelter or searching for firewood or doing something else. And if there's nothing to do really, I try to meditate. So now I'm going to sit very still, concentrate on my breath and watch my surroundings. It's not working for some kind of peculiar reason. And now my paracord is through. I have to get another paracord. Yep, that's an ember. Now the transfer of the ember is not so easy. So today I'm gonna try to drop it into that bundle. I got it! Woohoo! Fire! 
Yes. Okay guys, so this was it. I'm very happy that I got the bow drill fire going. Cedar is a great wood, so if you can find a dry piece which is standing, then you already have one. And yeah, super awesome wood for the bow drill set. Um, I'm proud of myself that I could do the bow drill like this today. And yeah, it's pretty, it's a pretty important survival skill. So I urge every one of you to go out and practice the bow drill. You can start at, uh, at home using dry wood and perfectioning your technique. But sooner or later, you should really go out and use fresh materials from the woods. Yeah, guys, so this is it for today. I want to thank you for watching. Please don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And also don't forget to click on the notification bell because sometimes, you know, you might not get notified of my videos in your subscription feed. So if you click on that bell, you will definitely get an email when I upload a video. And also I'm on Patreon now as well. So if you want to support my channel, this is one way how you can do it. Thank you for watching and stay tuned till next time.